welcome to today at Dunamis. I am your co-host Ed, and we have already been giggling for like the past <laughs> for the past ten minutes. <laughs> I am your co-host Ed. I am here with the amazing host of the show, Sean. Welcome, Sean. How's it going? Okay. So if I'm the host, you're the co-host. I'm the co-host. What is Erica? She is tech. She is tech. I'm Hello, tech. Erica. I'm, Hello, Erica. I'm Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I'm Mr. Wilson. <laughs> now, we were laughing. We were laughing <laughs> because uh, seemingly I didn't – well, i got to be careful here because maybe it was mentioned. I just didn't listen. Yep. I have a habit of that too. Man, stranger talking about nothing. Let's do it. That we have our – Workers celebration yeah. dinner, right? Yeah. That's not a secret, is Volunteers. it? Volunteers. No, Volunteers. Yeah, okay, which yeah. is Friday. And uh, Josiah, a.k.a. team, yeah. hired a big cooker, yeah. meat cooker, and yeah. they're doing... Um, brisket. For brisket, night. yeah, slow cook. What are you playing? I'm playing some elevator music since we're already talking about nothing. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he's doing a big brisket and rinse. Yeah, huh? smoked and so all that. So yeah. similarly, yeah. there was this... Bantering going back on between <laughs> Josiah and staff. So yeah. Imagine like, I don't know, 10, 12, 13 people interacting. In this massive chat, yeah. Yeah, massive chat yeah. about who gets the ribs, who gets the yeah, eat. Yeah. And even my mother, who's in hospital, <laughs> is involved. Can someone bring me something to the hospital? Yeah. So this gets frustrating, right? Yeah, because ding, 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 ding. So what do I do, Erica? Um, Keep... Sean Hanson left the chat. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go, leave, <laughs> leave, chat. leave chat. Now, Erica tells me, are you aware that when you leave the chat, we all get to see you've left? No, yeah, we no, see no, it. Yeah. That's not, no, no I, my exact words were, did you know that you can mute the notifications the mute, mute the on the chat? Yeah. And, so. and my response was, I don't care. I, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I like had enough. Like it's beeping every couple of minutes. And then one guy wants to bring his partner. It was like too much. So, so similarly, Erica informed me. Yes. Because this is not the first time I've done this, is it, Erica? No, it's the second time <laughs> this week at least. <laughs> so Erica informs me that when I do that, my son. Yep. <laughs> he said yesterday his exact words were, Dad Hansen left the conversation. <laughs> and so the next line said, you re-added Dad Hansen to the conversation. <laughs> so Josiah re-adds me. re yeah. yeah. But do you ever get like that on the phone? Like you included in a group? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just like, bing. I'm in bing, so many group chats bing. to do with church. Oh my goodness. It's just constant. Bi- I mute all. You yeah. know? Well, like, like <laughs> I was flat out yesterday. I was yeah, up yeah. at 3 a.m. And I oh think it was goodness. around about 4.30 or 5. I yeah. was heading out again. Yeah. And my be- I, I had created a chat. Well, a, a, just a text to yeah. Sandra, yeah. to Sandra, and Jacinta, just to inform them something that involves all three of them and myself. Yeah. But then my wife starts coming on with personal stuff. Oh. You were there, weren't you, Eric? No, I wasn't there. She goes like, uh, what time are you coming home for dinner? And I go like, uh. so I ignore it. She says, uh, uh, do you want sweet potato? You know what I mean? So I, I, I said, can we please keep this private just between you and me? And she, then she goes back on and says, I just want to know, do you want sweet potato tonight or not? So I don't, I delete the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I ring her up and said, Sandra, I mean, not that I'm embarrassed with Josiah and Jacinta, but, you know, isn't that a little too personal going on with my son? I mean, like, if if the whole idea of a group text now evolves to where you're asking me personally, do yeah, I want yeah. food potato or dinner? I mean, like, we are going down. So, yeah. Sean so, Hansen has left the conversation. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> because that was twice this week. Oh, so. classic. Oh, Do you ever do that? Ever do that? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Would you leave the group or would you do mute? Mute? Um, yeah, just mute. So mute yeah. just means you're no longer getting the messages. But Un- you unless they group. at you, you get no notifications. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's something I have to learn. Yeah, I can show you. Like, do you do that on Facebook? Do you yeah, I do. Go, I like, do it like almost everywhere. Yeah. Well, like, like there's some people like uh, I feel, and they're nice people. Like, yeah. see, I'm not one of these people that believes I need numbers in my face group. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think yeah. I've got around a thousand something, right? Yeah. So I, and I see others like 3,000, 5,000. And, mm. I, and I, I'm not really interested yeah, in yeah, how many yeah. in the face group. Just, I'd like to think that the ones I relate to, mm. I relate to, right? Yes, yes. But there's a couple of people who are kind of supposed to be friends with me, yeah. but they never have anything on their group. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know they send out stuff, but they do it to exclude me. Oh, but that's okay. Oh. So I'm left with two choices. Yes. One is they can 
see me, but I don't see them. Yeah. But that's already happening because oh. they don't let me in. <laughs> yeah. So I just unfriend them. Yeah, oh, that's the way to go. That's what I well, do. Well, I don't block them. Yeah. What's yeah. worse than unfriending? Blocking. Blocking, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't block them. So I figured, well, friends, two-way street, right? So yeah, yeah. if they want to see my stuff, I can't see them. I might as well unfriend it. Yeah, yeah. But they can still, if they want to see what I do, they can just come follow, on my page. Yeah, and follow. Look. Yeah, yeah. I think I do that with it. Yeah. Is that rude? No, I do something even worse. If people add well, me on hang Facebook. Hang on a minute. Okay. Just let's not use any words. Okay. Uh, yeah, a bat. I don't know. I, I, I like people who send me friend requests and then I just like leave them in the requests. Because <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know. I'm like, who is this person? I'll that's, just leave that's it. That's why you there. only have 20 friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've had. No, re- what yeah. I do, if I get a friend <laughs> request, uh, I look onto their profile. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I look at A, are they real? Yes, of course, of course. Are they a real person? Secondly is, are they from another country that wants to hit me up for financial support? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, of but course. But because of course. I'll look and I'll see mutual friends. Yeah. And they'll have Jamie Englehart. Yeah. You know, they'll have this one, this one. And then I realize, well, they're not really friends. Because friends, they're all like saying, hey, can you send me a hundred bucks? Hey, can you send me this <laughs> one? Hey, you know, and like, it happens. Oh, you know well, I mean? okay. I get it. I don't want to mention which countries. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There's about four countries that hit up. You know yeah. what I mean? So I just go, eh. Yeah. Uh, decline. Um, no, I do. I, I occasionally purge my social networking. Ends. Purge? Yes. That's a big word. That's yeah. a big word. Are we still friends? Because as far as I know. We are. Okay, right good, now yeah. we are. Oh, very good. Right now. Right now. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Dear, I was man. just joking. There's a purging coming on. <laughs> it's, it's, like. it's happy. It's coming. Yeah. Oh. I was kidding. So tell me what you do. That's it. I purge. I reduce numbers. When I was about to have cruise, I got rid of so many friends. Oh, but then the irony in Australia or America, all across or both. the board. But the irony is, then if I tag Andreas, all of his friends see them, and he's never purged in his life. So he's whatever. probably got like twenty thousand friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just one of those guys. Like you know, it's just it's it's got to be um, you know. I want to feel like I have some sort of connection. So if I see such and such says I like it, I want to go like, oh, that's nice. I know. Yeah, yeah. But don't you hate those copy paste ones? We got people in our church. Yeah. That just do these copy paste copies. Like uh, this is something like this. I want to test to see if you're my friends. If you don't answer this, then I know you're not oh, my friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's copy paste. Copy yeah, paste. the copy paste. The other one is depression. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, depression is a real thing here. Uh, you know, if you're a real friend, you'll tap here and share this. I. Those things annoy me. Yeah, very annoying. You know what I mean? Like, the cut like, paste. Chain emails. Yeah, chain, chain emails. emails. Yeah. yeah. Like How that. many of our people in our church do it? I don't know because I'm not friends with many of them. <laughs> yeah, <so>. well, same. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. Cut and paste. Like, hang on, I've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Cut and paste is there. Oh my goodness, this <laughs> that gets me. So, yeah. is there an etiquette on Facebook? Ah, uh, uh, well, a- Facebook's not a real place. Oh. So I, I mean, oh. do do I need to be etiquette? It's a personal. Yes. It's a personal code book for etiquette. So okay. it's your personal standards. I would say. Mm. I saw one Christian, um, and I'm debating if I should unfriend them. Oh, oh. no, okay. I really am. Okay. One Christian whom I know oh. uh, posted a thing, having a bad day, and we're using, you know, four letter words as an adjective oh. with an F. Yes. You know what I mean? That I find completely inappropriate. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I will have a conversation with them yes, yeah, yes. and say, if you're going to use this sort of language, just want yeah. to know I'm not on it. And I've done other ones where there was a young ladies posted pictures that I found. Um, oh, yes, un- yes. Inappropriate. 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 Yeah. So I sent them a text yeah. and I said, listen, sister, I'm speaking to you as a father. Yeah. I don't like those pictures. Yes. Uh, and if you're going to post those pictures, I will mm. unfriend mm. you. Yes. And yes. I said, it's not that I don't love you, Yeah. but I'm going to tell, I'm going to unfriend you Yes. because yes. I just find it... Um, and I don't want my pictures coming up with, you know, persons dressed in what I call inappropriately. Yes, yes. You know I mean? It's just me. Because yeah. I figured that Facebook is really for my entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. Is, is that a right? Connecting right with people well, it's, who it's are really distant. entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I call Facebook, you know, when I look at Facebook, I'm going to be honest to you. Yeah. It's because I'm trying to kill time. <laughs> <laughs> You're bored. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's I, true, I have, true. I have a headline news yeah, yeah, thing, and I have a thing called Flipboard. Is a headline yeah, news yeah, Flipboard because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's one you'd have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they have stupid stuff on though. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, and then it's that. So I'll just scroll. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, we should probably not talk about Facebook much longer. But yeah. so Andres is the way Andres Facebooks is he do- goes to the news feed and he does where it's um, what's the word for the timing where it's like all. Oh, but what, like, most recent? Yeah, most recent. Yeah. Whereas mine just like 
sorts random, oh, right? Like, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. algorithm does So, it. like, yeah. do you actually go and see everything, or do you just see whatever's there? Just as long as time I want to kill. Okay. <laughs> it's just yeah. entertainment. Okay. So I just scroll down. Okay. But normally, that's how I find out someone's birthday. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I send yeah. them happy birthday, happy birthday or yeah, yeah. there was a death, or yes. they're supposed to be at church, but they're at a football game. You know what I mean? Or <laughs> my favorite was, I'm too sick to come to church, but I'm at the mall eating in the... um. Food court. Ah, oh, food court, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I go like, uh, how well are you? You know what I mean? I find that one all yeah. the time. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, so I, I, no, I just go. But I never go in that top bar where it has those videos. You know those Oh, videos? oh no. the sh- uh, short? No, yeah, shorts. I, I don't do those. Um, reels, reels. Yeah, I don't do yeah, those. Yeah, I don't know. If, you know oh, I don't, stories too. Stories, stories yeah, too. I don't, oh, stories, I don't do yeah. those things. I yeah. just... I just don't do those things. Yeah, so me either. I, I just, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. I just, I'm a headlines guy. Yeah. yeah. Birthday, 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 diff, 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 diff. Yeah. Wedding, wedding, wedding. Congratulations. Well, well, that's also because, you know, as uh, men, as we're talking the G-Men program, men are headliners where women are, are paragraphs. Detail. Detail, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, unless you're me, but it's unless fine. It's a personality thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a personality thing. Personality thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, it comes yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some headline yeah, news. Yeah, headlines. I've got some funny news that's been having around the place. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, a favorite place in the world to talk about America. Oh. Uh, the White House has thrown. So when you say America, you mean the US of the A? The US of A, sorry. The White House froze an inflation reduction party with James Taylor as the stocks crash over this dismal 8.3% rate. So, uh, you know, uh, President Biden threw a inflation reduction party Tuesday, even as inflation hit worse than expected 8.3%. The stock market tumbled and stubbornly high prices for food and housing continue to slam American Ooh. households. But get this, Biden, 79, has had classic folk rocker James Taylor kick off the White House South Lawn Bash with his <laughs> 1970 hit Fire and Rain, oh a song reportedly about suicide and heroin addiction. Oh, no. Oh, to really? be a late celebrate the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act spending bill. So the only problem was is that the yeah. uh, inflation didn't go down. It didn't go down. It went up. So you, you got you to you got to ask. I mean, he's got to be embarrassed of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I would be. Wouldn't you be calling in the staff to say, like, who got it wrong? Yeah, yeah. Wait, like, wait. Why are we celebrating like, this? Can we call in the treasury? You wait, wait. Hang like, on. Does Biden even know where he is right now? That, well, that's the real question. Even, <laughs> even even if President Biden didn't, there yeah. are others around who'd be embarrassed. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I'm asking is. Where are the advisors saying, oh, Mr. President, um, inflation's up? Or, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be So this. somehow <laughs> he has been misled yeah. to where he thought inflation was down. Yeah. When I've heard him talk, he, all, he, all they talk about as press secretary is, is, is fuel prices have come down. Yeah. But the cost of running a car is up. It's the up. cost of buying a car is it's up. up. <laughs> the cost of buying eggs and bread and Food, fruit and vegetables yeah. in the US yeah, is in the US. up and more than double. Yeah. Okay, so inflation is just not one item. Yeah, yeah, petroleum. It's yeah, it's all the other things, and the cost of living in the U.S. Gas is up by twenty five percent, I believe it is. Mm. Gas being natural gas, yeah, yeah, uh, and all these things is all up. So, yeah, so it would be embarrassing. So here's here's the question, yes, right? Yes. So if you've planned a party for celebration, but the celebration is not there, yeah, like, <laughs> this was the inflation <laughs> deduction party, yeah. But inflation went, went up. up. So in the middle of the party, CNN, I understand, left him yeah. and went to the stock markets because they exploded because yeah. it went up. Right. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. All right. I mean, Fox, yes, but CNN? CNN, like, whoa, right. actually. I wonder if MSNBC stayed with him. Yeah, they probably did. They, they probably, probably did, did yeah. yeah. Nothing's wrong here, folks. Move along, move along. Yeah, nothing yeah, wrong. nothing wrong. Nothing to, to see, see nothing to see. Okay. But do you still continue with the party? I don't know, eh? I, I mean, mean, like, yeah. Hillary didn't. Like, yeah. Hillary... She she believed she had won the election. Remember, yes, that twenty sixteen. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and uh, she had all the big fireworks for New York. And yeah, everything already else. on standby. So when she lost, yeah, she, she cancelled everything. Yeah, cut it. Yeah. Now, Erica, you had a different opinion on that, wasn't it? Yeah, you particularly said if um, you were getting married and the wife didn't show up. No, the bride. The bride. The bride sorry, went the married. Brides didn't show up. Would you still have the reception? And I said, well, you wouldn't get a refund, so you should just go ahead and eat the food you already paid for. Mm. But in the in terms but of would you invite actual, your guests? I mean, yes, you paid well, for it. Well, the groom right? side, you would. I mean, <laughs> but for the Biden thing, why didn't they just rebrand, rebrand the party? That's my question. Just 
call would, it a party. What would you rebrand it to? Oh. Um, <laughs> like we're gonna get through happy this. Happy 12th of September. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I we mean, can get through this together. Would be yeah. Happy. yeah. There you go. There we, you the, go. We've got this party. We've yeah. got this. <laughs> or something like Hillary. We do it differently here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least they didn't like go opposite direction. Go uh, but, the redu- uh, inflation increase party. <laughs> well, I mean, to me, it's like uh, a party should be about not me, but celebrate. Yeah, something good. So if the celebration, <laughs> the air has been sucked out. <laughs> why would you? I mean, it makes you look like goosey. Yeah, I, I, I was just I was just wondering, would you still celebrate? Yeah, I guess it depends, right? Like on the yeah, what it is. Yeah, I wouldn't turn up. Um, for Andres's thirtieth birthday party, we had a funeral for his twenties, so everyone wore all black oh, and we mourned his twenties. Dead set. Yeah, it was fun. It was cool because everyone was dressed she didn't up. Get it, did she? Ah, dead set. <laughs> ah. But anyways, oh. they could have they could have mourned. Did you did you serve the food on a casket? <laughs> no, we just used. <laughs> Costco pizza, but I remember they could that. Have, that was good. They could have mourned. I wasn't invited. They could have. <laughs> they could have mourned the increase of the um, inflation or whatever. Been like, oh, this is really sad. We'll celebrate. I don't and know. And James Taylor singing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know who James Taylor is. Yeah, also. me either. Yeah, a, yeah but anyhow, um, everyone to their own. I don't need his music. Okay. Yeah. So, so kill me. All right. Well, uh, we solved that issue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we would. We would. Uh, Rebrand. So what we do? Okay. Go around. This okay, okay. triangle. Okay, okay. Me. Erica, would you continue the party or stop? I would rebrand. So you'd have the party just rebrand yep. it. Yep. You couldn't get it out there. You just have to use it on the time. Yeah. So you go, attention, attention. Uh, this was meant to be celebrating uh, the dropping of inflation. Uh, but right now, we're going to still have the party uh, as we come to this party with sorrow <laughs> at the rise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's better just to cut it. Ah, yeah, fair yeah. Little servants eat the food. <laughs> there you go. Right. Donate it. And what would you do if you're in that area where uh, you're having a party for a thing, and um, you know, did, would you still go ahead of it or not? I double down. Double down means <laughs> like be stubborn and go ahead. <laughs> yeah, keep going. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. You know, what I mean? you know like at a wedding, if if the bride didn't turn up, you know what? I just ask the crowd, "You want to marry me?" <laughs> Would you want me to answer that legally or do you want me to answer that no. oh, that's joyfully? No, you don't have to. No, you don't yeah, well, you legally, have to answer it. Legally, you can't because oh. 30, 30, days one, 30 days notice. Unless, unless they had. Unless you go to. Um, Vegas? Uh, Vegas, yeah. A, the exact same name and date and birth You can't because you haven't got the same parents. parents. Names. Oh, that, what, how? I mean. What is it? A it's twin? unlikely. They're a twin, so you can't do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if they had a twin there. They had the same you can't. Name. <laughs> it's not the same name. But, but what if? What if for some reason? So a mother would call the kid, <laughs> two kids, twins, Edward. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's highly unlikely. Well, even if they call it Edward, that changed your middle name. What's your middle oh, name? Oh yeah, yeah, I got. What's I'm your middle name? L- Luke. Luke. So your mother's called two of yours, <sighs> oh, Edward, true. Luke. True. Maybe Edward, John. Oh, okay, but yeah, not yeah. Edward, Luke. Okay. So what happens is that you see that you remember George Foreman, the boxer. Yeah. Mm. I think he had like five or six. I don't know. You can look it up how many okay, kids he had. I'll look it up. He had five or six boys and I think one daughter or something. Yeah. So he called every son George. What? And he called his daughter like Georgette or Georgina. <laughs> right? But, okay, so how do you get back? The middle name. So if you called him George, uh, whatever. So he'd call him by the middle name. It's just that he felt that his name should be passed on to everybody equally. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa. Go read out the names from George Foreman. Apparently... Apparently, he has 12 kids. 12. What? He's been a busy guy. Dang, okay. yeah. So the top headlines are uh, George, Frida, Georgetta, George, George, um, Leola, Natalie, and George. Oh, okay. All with first name George. No, those were the names of the kids. Mm. So I think at some point he changed his mind. Okay, yeah, with 12 his, kids. Uh, maybe his wife. Same wife? I'll clarify. His wife was like, stop calling How many George. Georges are there? Georgetta? Hold on. Georgina? I was say Georgia. Oh, apparently he has twice as many children as he had wives. I mean, he had six. Six wives. Six wives. What? Dang. So, I didn't know that. Well, if he had 12 kids, it's six but, wives. Dang. But at least with one of them, he didn't have kids, so. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> one of them. Wait. Very personal. Yeah. Okay. What an interesting okay, topic. Okay, I feel depressed. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah. So okay. um, something that you were excited to hear and learn about was yeah. um, travel expert says you should always keep one shoe in your hotel safe. Yeah, I, I love that. Well, I saw that article yeah. and I thought like, is, is she wacky do? Yeah, what's I mean, this person Because this about? lady says is a travel advisor. She says, so in the hotel safe yeah. that she'd put in the wallet, yeah. she'd put in her laptop. Yep, yeah. passport. Passport, passport yep. and one shoe. One shoe. Now, Erica, why does a travel advisor tell you to put one shoe in your hotel safe with your passport, with your laptop, with your wallet? Credit card. So I, I have one guess, yes. and it's so that someone doesn't take off with your shoes. Like, why would no. they only take one? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, this has yes. happened to me. I don't know. Oh, all right. Because this has happened to me, I think, three times. I've left the hotel and realized you I've left my passport. wallet and passport oh. in the safe. Yeah, yeah, dang. Oh, yes. It's taken me over an hour to get back. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. mm. It happened to me in San Antonio. That makes so much sense. It happened to me in Michigan. Mm -hmm. She said, if you put one shoe in, yeah, because wow. I was learning, I got to put something in to remind myself. Yes. To remind But it should you, yeah. be a shoe. So then what happens, you realize, hey, I only got one shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that has happened to me. Wow. On two to three occasions. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna if I ever travel again, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. You're gonna have a, a dedicated shoe just for the safe. Just no. the shoe I'm wearing. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. The shoe so I'm gonna wear, I'll put in. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think it's a shoe in for success. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there we go. No, there you go. That's the right sound effect. <laughs> no, but I, re I read that article. First, it sounded stupid. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like what we do, a headline to grab you. Yeah, headline, yeah, clickbait. Yeah, yeah, yeah clickbait. Yeah. It worked. I, yeah, it I, worked. I clicked. Yeah, you learned yeah. something. I actually yeah. learned something from clickbait. Yeah, I, I learned something. I, I thought it made a lot of sense. Yeah. So when you hear that, Erica, because I thought she's saying like, what, someone's going to steal a shoe? That's like, what's good as one shoe then? Yeah. Mm. You know, you got an emergency, you got to run out, you got one shoe, you're going to hop, 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 yeah. hop. You know what I mean? What am I, the Easter bunny? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like what, what are you going to do? So it made sense. When yeah. you gave context, it makes a lot of when sense. When you gave yeah. Yeah. Context, context makes context. sense. Context I like that. Sense. That's a good line. She should be a Bible school teacher. Yeah, she hey should uh, be. Yeah. 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 You're, you're going to be doing a subject for us soon, aren't you? You're teaching homiletics? Pneumatology. Pneumatology. What? Mm. Holy Spirit. The study of Holy Numa. Spirit. Oh. The study of Spirit. Spirit. Mm. Rock. Ah, that's Breath. that's uh, part one part of the Trinity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's got nailed something it. there. He's nailed it. Yeah. yeah one day in Bible school, this was happening. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine after one year. <laughs> yes, yes. We'll have to swap seats. <laughs> okay, any other news there, headlines? Well, well uh, if, if for some reason you've just woken up from a coma, the uh, the queen has passed away. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, God save. Yeah, I got to say, God queen. save the king now. God anyway, uh, king. Yeah. her coffin was is very unique. Yes. It's uh, oak. Yes. An oak coffin, but it is lined with lead. Lined with lead. I understand it's so heavy. Mm. True story. You got a picture, right? This is uh, not one a, sec. I'm not exaggerating. You got a photo. That it takes four. No, eight. Eight, eight, sorry, eight, eight soldiers, soldiers. Royal Marines there to carry it because of the weight. Because of all the lead that's in it. All the lead, yeah. Well, oak is, I mean, but all the lead, I mean, she's not, not a big lady. No, no, definitely not. Similarly, it's a custom for all the royal family all the way through. Mm, mm, yeah, from the Victorian era. Mm, so you know why, Erica? So it stops moisture. Yeah, it stops moisture. So the body won't decay as fast. Mm, yeah, yeah. And so when it's put in the crib or wherever else they put it, mm. uh, they did it for Princess Di and Diane and everything else. It's supposed to be so the body doesn't decay. But mm. the, what I want to ask is, so it makes the body not decay for a year. Yeah. So Why? what? Why? Why? You know I mean, like, <laughs> what? In case you're still alive? He come, comes back from the dead? I mean, like, what? What are you going to open it up six months in? Say, just wants, She's still dead. I mean, I just want you to say, like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? What's the purpose? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, tradition, I guess. Erica, Google, how All much right, would I'm it cost look. for a lead-based coffin oh a lead coffin a lead coffin. see you know that lead's yeah. not good for your health yeah that's what i was thinking like so these soldiers are they do they have to wear like well no masks? it's oak but i mean for the person's oh, passed it, away on the inside yeah it's just oh. lead it's so, oak timber on the yeah, outside yeah. so oak expensive timber yeah so hyper if the queen was to awaken she'd have lead poisoning basically yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just trying to make well, just all that just to have it airtight is what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Very, very odd. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was to stop kryptonite or something. <laughs> <laughs> or x-rays. <laughs> yeah. Well, just, just for, you know how the, the Egyptian esophagus, they put it through the x-ray. You wouldn't be able to x-ray those ones. Oh. 
Because oh, it's wow. all lead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is that where they got it from? Yeah. They just copied the Egyptians. I don't know. Oh. Walk like an Egyptian. No, they didn't have lead. Okay. But they did die because they used to use a mascara thing, you know, that ah, one, which was yeah. based in lead, which caused the cancer. Oh. Ah. So Egyptian oh, uh, history. Well, all right. So sense. I just was. Yeah. And it's a very sad thing. Yes. I, I, I must admit to you, I, I felt very sad when mm. she. I mean, of course, we expected it, but I felt yeah. sad. And, and I, I am a monarchist. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not a Republican. I'm a monarchist. Oh, okay. 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 I believe in the monarchy. I just figure, uh, you know, they say the argument here is we want a republic to vote for our own head of state. Yes. Well, we can't even vote for a prime minister. What yeah. we do head of state? I mean, like <laughs> the last time we had anybody last for a decent time was John Howard. Howard. Yeah. He did what eleven, twelve years. Yeah. Then after John Howard in 2007, we had Kevin Rudd. Yep. Then we had Julie Gillard. Julie Gillard. Then we had Kevin Rudd back again. Kevin Rudd. Then we had yeah. Tony Abbott. Tony Abbott. Then we had Malcolm Tim. Turnbull. <laughs> then we had Scott Morrison. Scott Morrison. <laughs> now we got Albanese. Albanese. <laughs> I mean. What's that, span of 10 years? <laughs> yeah, oh, since oh. 2007. Yeah, 2007, yeah. yeah. So uh, what, what I'm saying, 15 years. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, what you think you're going to make your own president, monarchist, or whatever mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, seriously, at least... Let them go along the breeding line, and yeah. they have no power. It's just the Westminster system. Mm. I got friends in America who were mocking uh, King Charles and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And my kind of view was, well, come on, guys. I said, you really think your last two, the current president, the last one, is a is an is a good sign of how things go? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? like, yeah. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect to President Biden or President Trump, but. What a mess that's caused. Yeah, their political what, system. Yeah. What a mess. Ooh. Oh, you found a price? America? I cannot find prices. Oh, it's going to be expensive. Hers was made 32 years ago. What? So, well, yeah. she was prepared 32 years ago. What? Yeah. Can you not ask at what cost? Oh, uh, I mean, I can try. 32 that, years. Wouldn't that be a weird gift? Like, I'm at, Sean, you're turning 60. What if I no, bought you a wait, coffin? No. But, uh, My mother yeah? has already paid all her funeral costs. What? Uh, the plot. Uh, every single, every single well, cent. I That's been years ago. She did it fifteen I, years ago. I was Whoa. gonna say I heard on the radio yesterday that because they, the person in Australia asked the UK, the England person, like, how has everyone re reacted? And the guy was like, actually, the Queen had all of her wishes laid out. Like most of the things that have happened were her wishes. She knew exactly what she wanted. Oh. There was a plan if she passed away where she passed away yeah. if she didn't if she passed away in london blah 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 there were plans for each thing and the media had plans for each thing oh yeah so i've heard about that yeah. obviously the queen had a i mean it's well tradition. so did prince philip he, he wanted the uh, land rover i think it was for his body right. in the back of the land rover right so it's tradition but also it was a part of her wishes as well so yeah. she yeah. would have yeah. planned for it i'm sure king charles would do it i mean king charles is 73 mm. yeah young, young. yeah yeah and uh you know I, I, you know Bible says in Timothy, you know, pray for the kings, pray yes, for the yes. peace. So, not that he has power, yeah, in yeah. The area there. So, you do what you do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, how's it going to work with Harry and um, Meghan? There is a picture, you know, when they're going in the crowd talking. Yeah, I don't know if it's thing, but there's like a little box, you know, like a microphone box. They they have seen under her. Well, she wearing a wire. Well, they think that they think <laughs> I don't know how true. They think that she was doing a recording. Yeah of her conversations so that they could use it in their documentary. Oh, she's a fed. <coughs> no, oh, oh, just in her documentary oh, okay. of Netflix and all that. Oh, okay. So the area. So look out if you had a conversation. Oh. Um, I have an answer. Yes. Okay. First of all, uh, the coffin was given to them when they were serving the Royal family. Oh, in 1991, the oh, London based wow. funeral gave it to them. Um, it the coffin made of English oak with a lead interior costs a stunning a hundred thousand dollars. A dollars or pound? Uh, I'm sorry. It it just has the dollar sign in front of it, so I don't well, know. A dollar is a dollar. That yeah, if okay. it's a pound, it has a different symbol. Okay, yeah. so okay, it's, well, it's so it's a hundred thousand. Because it was times. Coffin. This is from time. Oh no, it's from Manny News. I don't know if that's, that's okay. Legit. So a hundred thousand dollars. Hopefully, it's legit. Lot. Oh my goodness! And it's going to get buried. Well, no, no, it's it's going to be um in above the, above ground. Yeah. In the, no, no, it's a crypt. Yeah, well, that's still it's, that's still uh, yeah. above. That's still above ground, right? No, like it's a below. No. Oh, okay. no, it's a ground that goes in where they keep all the royal real things in there. That's that's so. weird. Yeah. Well, well, all the best. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy just to uh, go in one of those cardboard um, coffins. Cardboard coffins. Yeah, you can do cardboard. 
Oh, mm. I just want to be burned. Well, that's what I mean. Trying to get it burned. So yeah, yeah. I just want to be burned, man. Uh, okay, I, I'm not in that. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone after that. I'm Save dead, your eh? money. Yeah, probably the most expensive cardboard you can buy. <laughs> Just bear me in the backyard. Yeah, you yeah. want to do backyard? Yeah, you're not allowed to. Oh, it's illegal. <laughs> it's against the law. Unless it's a dog, right? You can do animals in your backyard, right? I've never done that. Yeah. It halts. It, even if it's animal bones, it halts construction if they find bones. They have to stop. Oh, but you know you can't bury a lead coffin because it's contamination. Oh yeah, it would contaminate the. It's, uh, it's in the special vault. They have yeah, a special the vault, vault yeah. in the um, cathedral. Crips. Yeah. All right. What else do you have for me then? Well, well, you know, one Sean, more story. One you want to do story. one more story? I guess eleven thirty. One more. Story. All right, one more story. Well, speaking of the whole Queen's funerals, you know, all these world leaders from around the world are coming to pay their respect, except for three countries. Okay, so three, three countries? countries have been banned from coming. Well, one of them would be Russia. Russia, Mother Russia. Uh, so China? Putin is not. No, Belarus. Oh, Belarus. Yeah, that's from the other side who's been accompanying um, uh, Russia to fight. Yeah. 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 In Myanmar. Myanmar. We used to call it Burma, but Myanmar. Oh, okay. Because of their areas. Because they were a part of the Commonwealth. Yeah, yeah. Not Belarus or Russia. Ah. I think they sent ambassadors, or so the Russian ambassador went ah, ah. there. But that's that's about it, yeah. But yeah, basically what's happening is um, there's like a two-tier travel arrangement with the, the actual funeral mm-hmm. where certain heads of states, i.e. President Biden, he can come in his armored limousine. He's the only head detail. of state allowed yeah. to do that. yeah. Um, where everyone else has to from the, the bus. airport get, get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, also they were told to come in commercial flights because Heathrow can't handle the flights. Yeah, can't right. handle it. Yeah, but they gave special permission to the Australian Prime Minister because yeah. I think he'd scot he jumped all the way around the islands, Pacific Islands, yeah. and picked up everybody. Hey, Prime Minister Papua New Guinea. Hey, Prime Minister from Vanuatu. Yeah. Hey, Prime Minister oh. from. Solomon Islands. Yeah. Why didn't he get China air flight from Solomon Islands? That guy? I mean, like, and they get on a flight and continue. Yeah. So he had to land another airport outside of Heathrow. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Him car pooling. Yeah. The oh, airlines are commercial. Pooling. Airplane pooling. I don't know. Yeah, it's built to bring because well, they probably couldn't get there. So yeah. Just to yeah. Get across, that's nice. So, that's so, nice. Yeah. I wonder if they tell them to come to Australia and get in the plane at Canberra, or they'll be. It'd have to be that way because yeah. you couldn't imagine the Australian Air Force say. Okay, Fiji, Fiji to New Guinea, New Guinea to Solomon Islands. Yeah, so yeah. It, it can't can't do that way. So it have to be all you guys fly in here, fly in here, and we, and then you go to Canberra or wherever, and yeah. you fly out from there. Yeah, interesting, eh? <laughs> Who, I wonder if the Australian plane yeah. has a bedroom. Yeah, I don't know. Because you know Air Force One. Air Force One. That, that, I love seeing documentaries of the Air Force One that, plane. The tech in there, yeah. yeah. There was a great old movie, Harrison Ford called Air Force One on the plane. Oh. Have you okay. seen that one? No, no, I haven't. Mm, it was always funny back there. Ah. But they built this new one that Trump had designed. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and then uh, Biden changed the colors back again. Oh. He didn't like the color, so. Yeah, because it can stay. It can permanently stay up in the air because it well, can be no, refueled. It gets refueled yeah, in the air. In the air, yeah. yeah. yeah it gets refueled in the air. That's yeah. insane. So the only time we sort of saw that happen was uh, with George W. Bush with oh, the um, Twin Towers. Yeah, 9-11. The only yeah. problem is the communications weren't working. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so they couldn't communicate. That's you. That is very useful. Mm. So, so they're all upset that they have to get in a bus. And Take a bus, say, yeah. They're saying, well, why can't we have our private arcade, yeah, ca- yeah. motorcade? Yeah, yeah. But I think there's just more of a threat on the president of the USA anyhow. I can understand mm. that. You sort of love him or hate him. Yeah, yeah. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. No disrespect, Erica, but I mean, like, uh, yeah. I remember when I flew into Mexico, I was living in America, and I took yes. a team into Mexico. Yep. And uh, the Mexican authorities were a bit uh, toy with my American friends like huh. just because you're americans yeah, yeah so i just walk up and go australiano australiano oh yes come in oh. come in come <laughs> in so uh, i got different treatment dude awesome uh, yeah yeah so i said to my american friends i'll meet you on the other side <laughs> they're getting delayed <laughs> have you ever experienced that erica because you're american um not Exclusively. No, whatever country have you been to besides Australia? Oh, you went to China and Hong Kong. I've been to China, Hong Kong. You came with us on India, the UK, France, and the and Australia and America, obviously. Oh, Oh, in France, they probably don't like the English, so but that's okay. I go Australiana, Australiana. What country would not like Australia? I think China right now. (laughs) They don't like Americans either. Um, Russia, Russia Russia wouldn't like us. Belarus wouldn't Uh, like us. Uh, They wouldn't like us. Solomon Islands. They don't like anybody now, oh, except oh, for China. Oh. Yeah, band is all up there. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're, we've always kind of been like the 
The chill country, I guess. Yeah, in a way. I mean, who is uh, who is a chill country? I think like maybe Singapore. Ah, uh, Japan? No, Japan has got all the, the tensions with Russia and China. Oh, okay, yeah. Because yeah, the alliances, yeah. they the have alliances, the alliances now, so yeah. comes across there. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. know. Oh, yeah, uh, comes across. It just depends who it is. All right. Anyway, interesting news. Yes. Hey, we're having a, we're in Barber School on uh, we have our Barber School on the Wednesday. Yesterday, which is a good yesterday, time. Wednesday. Yep. You were in there as a guest. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I was monitoring the uh, recording. And uh, we were doing one subject we call it on soteriology, which is soteriology, soterio salvation, study of salvation. Ah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, we we're talking to the students mm. about what is salvation. Yeah. What exactly is it? Yeah. yeah. You know, what is salvation? You know what I mean? And uh, how do we define it? How do we mm. understand it? You know, because when I was a Methodist, yes, um, I actually thought I was a Christian just because I was a Methodist. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I believed in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to church. Yes, and uh, they had what they call these confirmation classes. Uh, confirmation. So yeah, yeah. S- six one-hour classes. So for six weeks it was a one-hour class. Just on the systems of the Methodist Church. Yeah, yeah. And when I passed that, um, I could have communion. Oh. Mm. And that meant you were a Christian then? Well, I was a Methodist. Oh, Methodist, so yeah. Yeah. But when I came into what I called the Pentecostal yes. in the early 70s, yes. uh, you know, it was like Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, you know, that thou shalt confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, the government that you shall be saved. Yeah. With the mouth you confess your heart, you believe, you know. Mm, mm. And, uh, you know, Romans 3.23, for all of sin to come short of the glory of God. Yes, yes. Romans 6.23, for the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life for Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Yeah. And, and that, that was all the area which made me put my hand up Say, I want to get saved. Yeah, I'll be saved. Yeah. 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 So I want to get born again. Yes. So that's why I understood it. Yeah. You know, um, and that's what happened to me as a young fella, and I mm. got saved. But, you know, it's, it's understanding it. So we shared a text of scripture, yes. which we're familiar with, John chapter three yep. and uh, verse five. And Jesus says, I got uh, that, Erica. John chapter three, verse five. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you're, that's for the New American. Yep. I read the New American. It says, truly, truly. So remember, the devil denote means pay attention, pay attention. listen. <laughs> and the old King James is fairly, verily. Fairly, fairly. Okay. Yep. And uh, it's truly, truly, I say to you, unless someone is born of water and the spirit, he, she cannot enter the kingdom of God. Mm. So I asked the class, what does born of the water and born of the spirit mean? Oh, it means baptism, of course, Sean, right? Well, well yeah. So I found that in that class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with respect, we won't say that. <laughs> Nobody knew how to really answer it. Yeah, yeah. And so I was wondering if this is some key. How do we handle the discourse? Yeah. Well, the first thing we learn mm-hmm. whenever we're looking at scripture is what, Erica? Are you speaking about like hermeneutics or? Yeah, anything. Yeah. It's okay. context. Who, what, when, where, why. Yeah, yeah so yeah. who, what, where, when, what. But we've talked about the context. So yes. when you read a verse of scripture, yes. you've got to do it justice by reading all of it to get the story. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. And, and what happens a lot of times, uh, especially us Pentecostals, <laughs> we are phenomenal. Yeah, we are. At just taking a verse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and regrettably, a lot of times it's out of context. Yeah. <laughs> and we do it so much and so often. And we also do it, I was talking about this in Sunday, called topology, okay, mm. T-Y-P-O-L-O-G-Y. And topology is where we take a Bible story. It could be, let's take an example, uh, David fights Goliath. Yeah, yeah. So then we take that story and we try to make it relative today. Okay, yeah, yeah. so we go like, and as it was when David went out, there's a shepherd boy and he killed that giant Goliath. So it is today. <laughs> that as you face that giant called, I don't know, the Democrats yeah, or government. the Labor Party <laughs> or or those who have had the COVID injection. Because I, yeah, I saw yeah. this up. I actually saw it up there. Uh, those who have had the, um, what do you call it? A vaccine? Vaccines. Vaccine? Yeah. You are the David standing up to this giant <laughs> called Vaccine. And uh, and then you do it. So this That's is true. called topology, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just where we take a Bible story, yeah, yeah, okay, and we try to make. The only problem is is that in ninety percent of the cases, yes. oh, maybe that's too much. Maybe eighty percent of the cases, we take it out of context and we don't connect it as it truly should be. Yeah, yeah. This is always a problem we have. Yes, yes. Okay, it's trying to make sure that. So the only way that I know it's safe, something to do scripture, and it doesn't mean that we can't use some topology, but we've got to be careful mm. in how we're just trying to do a twister. Yeah, yeah. Somehow I'm the righteous one and you're the mean one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and 
we got to read in the context. If we go back to, let's just go to John chapter 3, verse 1. It yes. says, and there was a man from the Pharisees. So who's a Pharisee religious leader yep. named Nicodemus? And he was a ruler of the Jews. So he wasn't, you know, he, he has a position, his religious position. Yes. Okay. Verse 2 says, and this man came to him, which is Jesus, at mm. night. So why did he come at night? So uh, no one seemed basically doing it. Uh, right? So he didn't want to be seen associating with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So he definitely had an interest. Yes. But he wanted to be secret. Yes. You're going to ask yourself the question. So he's a topology. Yep. Okay. How many times do we as Christians want to keep it secret mm. coming to the Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And he said, Rabbi, Rabbi is Hebrew for? Teacher. Teacher. Yes. We know that you've come from God as a? Teacher. So he says, we know you came from God as a teacher. Mm. So he's not acknowledging that he is the Messiah. Yeah, yeah. The chosen one. Yeah. Because they, they're still waiting for the Messiah. Yeah. So religion will always make you battle with the authority of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more religious you become, the more you will battle the authority. Now, somebody's like, well, that's not true. If I'm religious, I accept the authority. No, it's not. <laughs> because you might get caught up on doctrine or you might get caught up on rituals. You yes. might get caught up on your ideas where you're yes. not open to what Christ says. Yeah. And he says, for no one could perform these signs because he saw the miracles. Yep. You do unless God was with him. Yes. So he didn't say that you were God, but rather God was with you. Yeah, yeah. Verse 3, so Jesus replied, I assure you, and I'm reading from the Holman's Christian Standard Bible, yep. unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yes. Born again. Okay, that's verse 3. Mm. Okay. So, but how, Nicodemus says, can anyone be born again when he's old? They about, Nicodemus is about 60-something years of age. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, well, how do you get born again? I, I, he, he, he's speaking... Jesus speaking, but it's not understandable. Yeah, yeah. Right? Nicodemus says, can he enter his mother's womb a second time and be born? Like, yeah, yeah. This born again, how, how does this work? Yeah, what? See, <laughs> the word is, Jesus used the word born again. Yeah. So yeah. We, we normally say, uh, are you a Christian? Yes. I don't. I say, are you born again? Yeah, yeah. Because if you say, are you a Christian, it's, it's pretty easy. People go, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. But they don't. Yeah. It could be, if, if anybody... When people ask me was as a Christian, when I was a Methodist, I didn't do it out of a religion. I didn't know anything different. I'd say yes. Yeah, yeah. But if somebody asked me, was I born again? I go, born what? Yeah, born what? I mean, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, born what? Born again. Yeah, again. I'm born, but born again. Yeah. But see, that's that's how. So Jesus hit it with, uh, "Are you born again?" He didn't say, "Are you a believer?" He said, "Are you born again?" Mm, mm, mm. Then Jesus answers him and says this. Unless someone is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, he, he, there's two leanings here, Ed. Yes. One is one group of people say born of the water means water baptism. Yeah, yeah. And of the Spirit means to be born again by receiving Christ. Yes. Okay. Now, I don't hold to that view. Oh. <gasps> Uh -oh. Well, because the simple thing is <laughs> that means water baptism comes before being born, being born again. Ah, yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse six says this: Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. Whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Yeah, yeah. So I believe when it says born of water is a physical birth, because mm -hmm. he says born again. Yeah, yeah. So born again is a secondary rebirth. So there has to be a first. Birth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I see, unless you're born of water. So, you know, when a baby, when the lady breaks the water before the baby comes, I don't know if you know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the woman breaks water. Yeah. Okay. So this is what happened born of water and the spirit. There is a physical birth. Yeah. And there's a spiritual rebirth. Spiritual rebirth. Yeah. And that's what it says here. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. Yes. Mm. So this is the thing. Yeah. Now, Here's the thing. Because of my view, I hold more to Arminianism, okay, yes, yes. in the context of grace. Yeah. Whereas Calvinism, some are stronger than others, okay, yes. uh, that they, they believe more or less like, uh, you know, elect or selected, okay? Yeah, yeah. And that is that when you're, you're saved, you're saved, and if you aren't fully saved, then you're never saved. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, it was John Wesley who was strong in Arminianism, and he brought in this teaching of a second blessing. Ah. Uh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got yep. a second. The second blessing means you get born again, but there's grace over you mm. in that journey of discipleship. 
meaning yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're born again, but you still got a lot of rough edges and some habits mm, mm. and it's a process of getting it dealt with which i lean towards yeah yeah and there are cases where somebody could be dramatically saved and life totally changes yes yes but then there's also those in the process the process yeah whereas some theological views say no it's 100 percent, or it's not mm, mm, mm. and it was also charles finney called it sanctification yeah so Wesley was 1700s, Finney was 1800s, yep. and in sanctification, it means to be set apart. So there's a process of sanctification. Yeah, yeah. Grace period. Yes. And uh, you now I'm a product of what we call the charismatic renewal. Yes. Okay, of the, well, I, I wasn't saying the 60s and 70s, but it began in the 60s and the 70s, yeah. uh, where there's this awakening. It wasn't so much the outside world mm -hmm. as it was other mainline church people coming in and getting saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I suppose more in the 2000, there was a, a awakening. Yeah. Okay. Which is, uh, again, not about the rebirthing of denomination, but it was more so about uh, you had um, John Wimber and mm. Peter Wagner and others where they really emphasized more so spiritual gifts. Yes. Okay. And we go into the fivefold gifts and everything else. <laughs> so as it's progressed. Yeah. But, uh, but born again to me is uh, not a one time event. Yep. Meaning, I don't believe you keep giving up to the Lord, yes. but I believe it's a process of process, continually working yeah. out your salvation with fear and trembling, as Paul says in the book of Philippians. Yeah, yeah. It's a process. process. Can you remember when you got born again? Yeah. I mean, you were raised by a Christian, Christian home. Yeah, Cath mom was Catholic and then became, well, raised Cat Catholic because of Italian heritage. And then became Christian, yeah. But I can remember you in this church when you were a kid. Yeah, I would say I, I gave my heart to Christ in kids camp. What's 06. that word? A rug, what do you call them? Rug, rug rat. Rug rat. Oh, rug yeah, rat. I was I was a very naughty in kids church. Was it? From what, what, I, what I've been You told. were tall for your age. Yeah, very tall. tall. Yeah, you stood yeah. out. Yes. So how tall. old were you when you came to church? Um, Let's see. I was born 94 and I was around here about 05. That would have made me... Uh, maybe 10, 11. Okay, 10, 11. Yeah. How old are you now? 27. Okay, 27. So, uh, so you've been here 16 years. Yeah. So 10, 11. Okay. Yeah. So do you remember giving your life to the Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, was in kids church? Kids camp 06. Who was the leader then? That was still on the past Anya. Anya. Yeah, yeah. She, she was a good kids, yes. kids leader. Yes. Very good. Yes. And uh, so you remember doing it. Like, what was the situation? So um, uh, one of the, the theme... That Pastanya was pushing uh, at, at the camp was um, she was wanting to discuss like the Holy of Holies. Yeah. So she had a a section of like the Holy of Holies near the stage, and then everyone else. Well, one part of the room was the Holy of Holies, and the other part wasn't. Yeah. So when it was time to worship, she got other kids to come into the Holy of Holies. Okay. And then on the last night to represent Jesus' cru crucifixion, as it says in the Bible, when he died, the Holies of Holies it, it tore. So she literally did that on the last night. Wow. And that's when I then gave my heart to Christ. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good picture. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so was it smooth sailing from that day or was it? No. <laughs> so did you ever like recommit your life to the Lord? Or yeah, I, I think I, do, I definitely did have to recommit because I think after youth and then going through all the schooling, it was real tough with my like work schedule. Mm. Like I, it was kind of like I wasn't balancing it with god and like everything else it was more like everything else god's at the bottom yeah okay um priorities prior my prioritize it wasn't really until i finished my bachelor that i really mm. and just a bit before like starting the work year i really yeah. started to really refocus on my walk of christ okay yeah. okay okay and so you remember that so yeah you made the decision yeah there still was this process process how yeah. old when you got baptized in water oh oh i'm not baptized well you're not baptized in i'm water? not baptized Really? Yeah, I'm in Syria. I'm not baptized. Well, why not? It's a command. Well, I've been wanting to get baptized at the beach, like okay. at a Rubicon well, kind of thing, but then we kind of stopped it. Well, can I suggest <laughs> then that you need to get baptized? I Yes, I agree. So you're going to the youth camp? Yeah. There you go. Oh, I'll talk to Eric. See if or do you want to wait and get baptized with me? Well, I don't know. I really want to get baptized in the beach or something like that, like something out of nature. I like that. Well, aren't, it, aren't the youth camps the nature? It's a yeah, that's there. what I mean. Like if we do it, yeah, sure, I'll do it there. Well, they are doing it. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, because I already know a couple of people are getting baptized oh, there. Oh, okay. Right. Who was it told me the kids are getting baptized there? So uh, a couple of them already told me they're getting oh, baptized. So okay. It's very good. So uh, send the message to Eric. So, all right. <laughs> are you baptized in the Holy Spirit? Uh, if you ask me if I can speak in tongues, no. Oh, so you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit. But, but 
I have a reason behind that. I, I don't, I, I, <laughs> I made fun of people for speaking in tongues when I was younger. Okay. So I don't, I, I feel, it feels a bit wrong to want to. Why? Have the gift. Well, let, let's talk about that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So uh, the Bible says uh, in Acts 2 verse 38, when yes. Peter gave his first sermon, okay, uh, and he says, repent. Yes. Be baptized. Mm. And then you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is promised to you, to your children, and to all who are far off. Yes. For as many as the Lord our God has called. Yes. Okay, so Acts 238, Acts 239. Mm, mm. All right. So it is a promise. Yes. All right. And it doesn't say that water baptism comes first mm. because we know in the household of Cornelius, okay, yes. when they received the word and the apostles put off them being baptized in water because they weren't Jews, mm. and all of a sudden they got baptized in the Holy Spirit for speaking in tongues. Oh, okay. And so that's when the apostles says, well, if God saw fit to baptize in the Holy Spirit, mm. who are we? Yeah, yeah. So baptism in the Holy Spirit, Ed, is, is your heart. Yes. If it wants more of God. Now, do you have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit to be saved? No. Do you have to be baptized in water to be saved? No. Nope. No. Uh, although I do know some groups that say, uh, if you're not baptized in water. Now, for example, there are certain religious groups. It could be the Lutherans. It could yes. be yes. some Presbyterians. It could be the Catholics. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure. Methodists other groups. as well. Methodist, for the, for yeah, the Methodist. Yeah. Uh, they yep. teach baptism first. They have oh, wow. teaching of infant baptism. So yeah. before oh. they put water baptism before salvation. Basically, oh, yeah. oh my goodness! But here's the thing: it says repent and then be baptized. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I don't believe that doctrine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have the story of the thief on the cross. Yeah, thief on the cross. Yeah. So Jesus today be in paradise. He didn't say, "Oh, too bad you didn't get baptized." <laughs> yeah. Then there was another group of revival settlers. They're extreme. Revi- There's two groups. There's a one of us is an extreme group. Yes. Because they broke uh, apart. Okay. Yeah. It was under the long fields. Yeah. Uh, was the area. And uh, what happens, they said that if you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, then you are not born again. Oh, oh and my I don't goodness. agree with that too. Yeah. Wow. Well, Can I ask extreme. a question? Yeah. So is it possible to be baptized in the Spirit without speaking in tongues? Well, th- this, is, this, is, this is a great thing. I think, you know, once you're born, now this is, and I know some pastors, would disagree with me in this. Uh, Phil Pringle, I've talked to. Okay, disagree. Mm. And I think Brian Houston also had disagreed with Ooh. me on this one. I, I'm not 100% sure in the area because I had discussions when I was in the APMF, which is Australian Pentecostal Ministers Fellowship. Ooh. And uh, they believed that the best of the Holy Spirit did not need the evidence of speaking in tongues. Oh. Whereas I believe it is evidence of speaking in tongues. Wow. Okay. So uh, I believe that if you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, because yes. what does the word baptize mean? Uh, like uh, it means immersion. You? Oh, immerse. It's yeah. Greek. Immersion. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's not a dipping or a sprinkling. It's immersion to go mm. down mm. under. Mm. Okay. So I I believe that uh, if you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, you've been immersed in the Spirit, which is the evidence. Yes. Of speaking in tongues. Yes. Now, getting back to your statement, mm. I believe once you're born again, you're born of the Spirit. Yes. Mm. So I believe anybody who's born again has God's Holy Spirit in them okay. mm, mm. because how can you not yeah absolutely yes, yes right so it's god's spirit in us yeah. and the bible says that when god's spirit hits our spirit mm. then our spirit cries out abba father papa mm. god but i believe that there is a definite baptism of the spirit which is something more yes. it's a yes. gift yes mm. now mm. you go back to this uh you know there is the gift of tongues yes mm. and there's the tongues in the holy spirit baptism mm. Are they different? Yes. 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 Yeah. Because one is the prophetic gifting yes. where Public. the Apostle Paul says that when you speak in tongues, mm. you should pray for the interpretation, not yeah. wait for somebody else. Yeah. yeah. And I prefer you just in the front of the crowds to speak uh, in audible words mm. yes. rather than words that can't be understood. But yes. Paul says yes. at the same time, but I thank God that I speak in tongue more than you all. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So he didn't <laughs> deny it. Yes. So now the tongues I'm talking about is my personal prayer language. Ah, okay. So the Bible says in Romans, when you know not what you ought to pray, mm. it says pray in the spirit. Ah, pray in the spirit, yeah. Okay, mm. and that's where your spirit of God yes. makes intercession. Mm. So there are sometimes Ed, where mm. and I'm praying, and I'm I'm an early like twelve thirty in the morning when this happened, I pray, uh, and there are times when I've just run out of words and things what to say. Yeah, yeah. But I still know I'm not satisfied. Um, that it's still a yearning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And this is where I will pray in tongues. Pray in tongues, yeah. And when I pray in tongues, I rest in this, that and the Bible says, although my mind doesn't understand, yes. it's making utterances. 
okay, unto God. Yeah. And that's where I feel there's an intercession. Mm. Mm. So what I'm saying to you, Ed, is that there is another level of mm. blessing that that's God good. has for you. Mm. That's good. Mm. That you're not functioning in. Yes, mm. yes. Like, and I'll give you a classic example. Yeah. Right? So it was, uh, I got back from church Sunday night, everything else, yep. went to bed, as I do, at 12.30 in the morning. So that would have been Monday morning, 12.30 in yep. the morning yep. of this week. Um, I woke up and I was praying. Yes. I was praying yes. for Margaret Lobb, praying for my mom, mm. praying for a number of people. And uh, a particular sister with breast cancer, I was praying for, and yes, praying yes. for another, uh, Zach's mom, just, just different people, right? Yeah. And... When I was praying, my wife's asleep. Yes. The dog's down here asleep. Parrots on his perch of the ever kind of sleep. Yes, I'm yes. surrounded by menagerie. <laughs> I just felt this. I didn't know. I just felt this, like, why am I not seeing what I want to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and out of the prayer, I haven't had that for a while. I just, I just felt this, like, why am I not seeing it? Yes. Mm. So yes. all of a sudden, my prayer direction changed mm. from praying for people. Yes to calling out to God. Yes. So I went from, Lord, I just pray over Margaret for the touch of God. I pray over my mom. I pray over the sister Briscoe. I pray over this one here. And all of a sudden, there's this void came in. I just felt this void like, why am I not seeing what I want to see? Why am I not seeing the miracle? God, what's happening here? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, it comes to a point where I said, God, I, I need, you know, I know it's faith, but I have faith. And then I went like, God, give me more faith. Help me in my unbelief. Yeah, I have yeah. faith, but help me in my faith, mm. and it, which is Mark 9, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And help me in my faith. And then all of a sudden, I started praying in the Spirit, uh -huh. which have been tongues. Yeah. And yeah. I fell asleep. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, when I fell asleep, yes. I had a dream. Yeah. Wow. So it's almost like in the Spirit, mm -hmm. because I was open to the Spirit, mm. it creates an opportunity. Because yes, the Bible yes. says it's when your Spirit, connects with God's spirit. Yes. And there's something powerful in that time, Ed. Mm. And then I had this dream. And if you know me, I'm really big on dreams. Yeah, yeah. So in this dream, I had a dream that all of a sudden I was standing on the banks of this water. Yes, yes. A bay area. Yeah, yeah. As I looked at the water, it was cold. And and to really show you how cold it was in my dream, there was fo floating slabs of ice. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, well, it wasn't yeah. solid where you could walk on it, but it was floating slabs of ice. Yeah. And there was these people swimming in the water. Oh, my goodness. Crazy you know, people. They were in their bathers swimming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, men and women swimming. Yeah. And in this dream, I knew them. I couldn't recognize anybody, but I knew them. Yeah. So I felt affiliated with them in this dream. So I was saying, you know, what are you doing? It's freezing. Yeah. Get out of the water. Out of the water. And they were like, no, we don't feel anything. I said, how can you not feel it? And, yeah, yeah. and I look at them and the skin wasn't blue or anything else. It was yeah. just same color and they weren't cold. I said, get out of the water. I said, come out, come out, come out. And it's almost because I was um, calling him, they got out of the water. Like I had some sort of authority and they got yeah. out of the water. Yeah, yeah. And they said, well, we're not cold. And I said, it's cold. I'm shivering. And look <laughs> at the ice floating. Come out of the water. Come out of the water. Yeah, yeah. I said, what do you want? I said, come on upstairs to this room. Yeah. Come yeah. upstairs to this room. I want you to come upstairs. Now, I don't know where the stairs was leading. Just yes. I was leading this position. And there's hundreds of people. And we mm -hmm. led up to this room. And we got the room. It was this glass, like a commercial door, you know, a glass door to get through. And there's a handle with a, the lock on it. Yeah, yeah. And I pulled on the handle, put on the area, and, the handle, and it wouldn't unlock. It wouldn't open. Wow. Push, 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 push. And um, I got like, and I saw the key thing. I said, you know, the thing where you put a key, yeah, the yeah, key yeah, lock? Yeah. And I said, oh, key, key, key. And I'm touching my trousers. I, I haven't got a key. Yeah. So I look, I'm on top of the stairs, and I look down, there's all these people. And I said, has anybody got a key? Anybody got yeah. a key? Got a key? Got a key? And I was going, no, 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 no. <laughs> and it's a moment of frustration. We've got to get in. Yeah, yeah. I got all these people, mm. but no one has a key. Wow. And then in this dream, this voice, well, it was God's voice, yes. said to me, have faith. Wow. And so I grabbed the door and I said, Lord, I have faith, but obviously I don't have enough faith. Mm. So I said, Lord, I have faith. Give me more faith. I have mm. faith. Help me in my unbelief. Give me faith. Wow. And all of a sudden, I hit the door handle and opened. Wow. And we walked in. And wow. when I walked in, it was this beautiful auditorium. Yes. Okay. And... I walked in, I walked onto the stage. Yes. And all these people came to the to the right. And I looked on the stage, looked back. I saw the auditorium and I saw these rising up chairs at the back. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I walked in and I said, and all the people came in. They're just coming in, coming in. And it was beautiful. I said, wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And it was warm. 
Mm. And everybody else says, we must have been cold. Because yeah. now they felt the warmth. Yes, yes. And when they felt the warmth, they realized it was cold. It was cold. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But until they'd been in the warmth, they never knew they were cold. Wow. Can, can you figure that out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they didn't know they were cold until they came into that sanctuary. Mm. Yes. Now yes. they realize they were cold. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But then I woke up. Mm. And so I prayed. I said, God, help me understand this prayer. I mean, this dream. This I, dream. I, I yeah, want to understand yeah. it because everybody has dreams. But yes. the only dreams I take serious are the ones that seem to hit me. Yes. So I said, God, help me understand this dream. Mm. And this is what I felt God said to me. Mm. He said, the people you saw in the water mm. are Christians yes. who have become cold. Wow. Mm. You can see them as cold yes. because you are warm. Yeah. Mm. But they don't see themselves as cold because they have adapted to it. And that's the world. They have compromised their standards. They, have, they believe in God, yes. but they're so caught up with things. Like I got certain people offended with me because I said, well, you shouldn't do martial arts because it's Eastern religion. Yeah, yeah. Some others offended said, you shouldn't do yoga. Eastern religion. They're, they're they, they don't want nothing to do with me anymore. Mm. Right? I got other people, I said, you've got to stop the drinking. You've got to stop this. It. Yes. They're offended with me. They don't want to talk to me anymore. Yeah, and, yeah. and these are the people that were called, and other things, sexual things, yeah. other things. One person's gone back to homosexuality, another person's gone this way, and there's a coldness. Yes. Right? Yes. And I, these are the people in the water, and they're cold. Their hearts are not open. Mm. But the biggest thing, Ed, is that they don't know they're a cold in the stream. Mm. And this was who they represented, the Christians. This wasn't the unsaved. Yeah, yeah. This was Christians. Yes. Okay. And when they came out into the church and it came to the door, that's what God said to me. There are keys for the kingdom. Yes. There are keys. Mm. And the only way to get the keys and the kingdom to lock the door is you're going to have to have faith. Mm, mm, mm. And it's no good asking those who are cold <laughs> yes. to have more faith. Yeah. You who want to lead has to have the faith. Have the faith yeah. So here's the problem sometimes as leaders. We are angry at those who are cold for not having more faith, but they're already cold, you know, according to Revelation. Yeah, yeah. I prefer you have a hotter cold, but those are in between I spit on my mouth, right? Yeah, yeah. So they're already cold. So they, they haven't got faith. Yes. That's why they're indulging what they indulge in, right? Yeah, yeah. They're more caught up in business than God. Yeah. They're more caught up in family yeah, than God. Yeah, yeah. Right? And they're cold. Yes. The only problem is they don't know they're cold because they're so adapted to it. Adapted to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the key is not asking them for the key. It's you who are aware have got to get faith. Yes, yes. So when you don't feel like your faith is there, it's no good getting cranky at the cold ones. <laughs> yes. Which we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got to call out to God for more faith. Yeah, amen. And then the important thing is when you call to God, the story I'm saying, God, help me in my faith. I don't have enough faith. My faith is not where it should be. Help me in unbelief. God, help me. Pop, it opens. Now, here's the thing, Eric. I didn't even realize that. You know what that was in the auditorium? That was our new building. Yeah. Because, I was wondering. I was because wondering. Because you know what gave it away to me? What? Was the rises. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Because I, I, when I came up there, the thing I noticed and I looked out there, it was so much bigger than the one we're in now. Yeah. yeah. But the rear had these rises. Mm. And that's... I don't know, is that a balcony? What is that? It's a rise. Yes. And then I realized, and it's a, it's a metaphor, it's a, that God's going to fill the house. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But Amen. it's going to be our faith as leaders. Yes. We've got to stop thinking that those who are struggling in the Lord or those mm. who don't want to talk to us because they're caught up in things, it's not their faith, it's our faith. Yeah, mm. amen. Yeah. And it's no good as getting cranky at those who aren't as strong as they should be. Yes, yes. We have got to call out to God for more faith. And this is what God was showing me. Yeah. So even when it came to those who are sick, he was telling me, yes. don't worry about the faith of those who are sick. Mm. Ask God for faith. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how does this work in? This is the Spirit. Mm. Yes, yes. So here I am praying because mm. I feel like the Spirit prompts me. I'm born again. I'm baptized in water. Yeah. Okay. I... I'm born again of the Spirit. God's Spirit's in me. Mm. But I want to step further, Ed. Yes. I want to be fully immersed mm. with the evidence of tongues. And yes. the evidence of tongues does not make one more spiritual. Mm. Yes. But in the area of prayer, mm. when I find myself in God's presence, as I did when I no longer had words to say, 
Yes. When I'm praying for these people and I've run out of words, I've no longer got any more words to pray for Margaret. I no longer got any more words to pray for my mum. I no longer got any more words to pray for Elizabeth. I no longer got any more words to pray for that woman with the breast cancer. I've got no more words. Yes. My English has stopped. Mm. But this is the difference between you and me. Yes. Not that one is more better. No one better. I tapped in. Yeah. Yeah. And I've drew on the spirit. And I begin to pray in the spirit. And as I pray in the spirit, this peace comes on me and I go to sleep. And when I go to sleep, I believe God takes me on this journey. And for me, Ed, if it's okay, I would say like, don't let shame hold you back. Because like you said, you used to make fun of people who did it. <laughs> but that's okay. Repent and let the Lord forgive you for that. And then just ask. Ask for the yes, gift. Yes. Yeah. That's what I would say. So always remember what Eric is saying there too is this. Mm. The spirit of God convicts. Yeah. Yes. But the spirit of this world condemns. Condemns, condemns. exactly. Yeah. So you don't have conviction on you on that. You have condemnation. Yeah. Mm. And what condemnation does, it stops us from moving ahead. Yes, yep. yes. Whereas conviction says what Eric has said there. Mm. You say, hey, God, I repent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this gift. Yeah, I'm praying, Ed, yes. that at this youth camp, even though you're not a youth, you're a leader, <laughs> there, but at the youth camp with Eric, I'm praying, A, that you will be baptized in mm. water because mm. it's a commandment. Mm. Yes, yes. So remember this, is that Jesus was without sin. And when he went into the water, okay, John the Baptist says, hey, uh, I'm not worthy. Mm. Jesus, this is not about being worthy. This is about me being obedient. Yeah. Mm. So if the Son of God, who was without sin, was obedient, yeah. mm. then who are we? Yeah. Mm. So you don't do it, Ed, for religion. Yes. You don't do it for what else. You do it because you say, God, I may not understand it. Mm. It may not make sense to me. It might even look a little ridiculous. Yes, yes. But I'm doing this for you. Mm. Right? Mm. And even if that doesn't work for you, mm. then you let me know next Tuesday and we'll drive down to the beach. Mm. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know you're not joking. And I'll drive down to the beach. Yeah. Either just you and me or anybody else, and I'll baptize if you want a beach, yeah. I'll do that. Does that have to be the Gold Coast or could it be Jacob's well? well just just in, <laughs> in, a beach here in, in water, in real water. Yeah, well, they, salt water. they're doing it out. Well, they're doing it. The youth camp's got the creek they're doing it in. It's Does busy. it have to be salt water? Nah, I, I just want it in something like natural. that. God, natural. God made it. Well, God made water, son. So yeah, but, but you know, like okay, don't worry about the it. Base. So don't get done that. There's more bugs in that water than anything else. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> but go ahead and get baptized. Yeah. And I'll be, I want to see the photo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I'm serious. Mm. As a spiritual father, I want to see it. Yes. Right? Yes. Then I want you to be open to receive the baptism. Yeah. Mm. Lord, I just pray over Ed in the yes. name of Jesus and over anybody else who's listening. If they're not yes. baptized in the Holy Spirit, the evidence of tongues that they would open themselves up, that even right now, symbolically, as I pray over the viewers and as I reach out my hand towards Ed, I'm praying, Almighty God, that even in this time in which they'll be seeking you, even could be tonight in the early morning hours, that you just open up the spirit. I want to hear a testimony, Lord, about how Ed, from this moment, opened himself up to receive. And I speak that, Lord. Yes. I speak that in the holy and mighty name of Jesus. It can happen before you're baptized in water, Ed. It could happen tonight. Yep. It could be happening this afternoon. So good. But the word of God says, you draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. And I ask you to bless this son in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. We will not yes. be coming on air next week nope. because uh, the government has announced that it is a public holiday next Thursday yes. uh, in respect towards the Queen. We need time to mourn. Morning on everything else here. M O U R N. Okay. The Lord bless you. We love you. I hope you enjoyed this program today. God bless. Here we are today.